the final doubleheader of the season was at Dover. And boy, <laughs> the playoffs are getting interesting. Jimmy Johnson cutting the points down to just a handful of points. And we're going to have an interesting race next week at Daytona. But uh, yeah, before we get into Dover, obviously, new, new, new setup. Woo! I'm still figuring out where I'm going to do this. I don't know if I'm going to do this here with like the, the, the half bed, half flag setup. I might do something back here, make like a little setup in the background. I really don't know yet. I have not completely decided what I'm going to do, so I'm going to keep on moving places probably, and you guys will let me know. What you want this thing? But anyways, let's get into the Dover race. So Dover, yeah, <laughs> it was, it was, it was a weird race. Uh, there were some parts where just nothing happened, uh, no passing whatsoever at times, and then there were parts where Harvick had like a six-second lead over Truex or Logano or something. Uh, Joey Logano was back in his true form, uh, racing for fifteenth place on lap eight, like he was for the win on the last lap. Darn, we'll talk about that later. But anyways, not only do we have a close playoff bubble, Mark, but we have a close championship battle. We've talked about Kevin Harvick, Denny Hamlin all year racing for wins, racing for the championship. They're obviously the championship favorites, right? Well, they swept the doubleheader weekend again. If you remember out of the, what, three doubleheaders we've had this weekend and back-to-back -back days, uh, they split Pocono, Harvick swept Michigan, and they split this weekend at Dover. <laughs> Is anyone going to stop a man? If, if either of them do not win the championship, this system, I'm done with this system. I've been about done with it for a while. So I could make a whole thing about why I don't like that system. But man, oh man, it's a little frustrating um, if they don't win. But yeah, they have been the two clear favorites. Harvick clinches the regular season title, gets forward their 700th win in the Cup Series. Uh, yeah, very, very dominant day today. He led over 230-something laps at the 311 no one was beating him, but late, late in the race, Jimmy Johnson, William Byron, uh, on Saturday's race, we didn't talk about it yesterday because I was, I was busy moving in here, but uh, yeah, uh, Jimmy Johnson closed the gap from 25 points out to three points in, so they made up 28 points in one race. We knew that could flip-flop. We knew that could potentially go the other way. Jimmy could expand his lead. I don't know. Well, Byron and Canals, they they tuned up that car. They got it good. It was a top five car. They got a lot of stage points. And now Byron has a four-point gap. And we got an interesting playoff battle. But late in this one, we're going to talk about that real quick. Jimmy Johnson, there was a late caution with about 20 to go. They had been on their their tires for, what, 70, 80 laps. And uh, Johnson, Cliff Daniels, said, screw it. Let's go for the win. Take two tires. Only car that took two tires. They held on for about a half lap until Harvick got by him. But then... Jimmy held on to third. It looked like Byron was going to pass him. Bowman, Logano, Almirola, Keselowski, they were all going to get by him. But Jimmy held on to third. Has a four-point deficit going into Daytona. That's got to be stressful, man. It's his last season. You know he wants to compete for his eighth title. He wants to make the cut as they show the playoff uh, bubble here on the TV. I still got it on over here. But it's got to be so stressful for all those teams. Um, Jimmy, man. Four points out, uh, it's better than what it could have been. Uh, 20 points out or something, but if him and Byron both get collected in a wreck, it could be who gets to pit road and who doesn't. <laughs> I mean, it's a little crazy. But uh, yeah, oh man, it, Daytona's going to be fun next week. A cutoff race at Daytona, and that's that's not the thing. It's not only them two fighting for it. Obviously, we could get a new winner, but Matt Benedetto had a terrible weekend. He finished 15th or worse in both of the races, I believe. Did not get a lot of stage points. And he's only nine points above the cutoff line now. He went from having like a 50, 60 point lead a couple weeks ago to nine points. Let's say Johnson and Byron get a lot of stage points. And uh, let's say Matt DiBenedetto doesn't. They all get involved in a late race crash and they finish 26th, 27th, 28th. Jimmy and Byron are going to get in and DiBenedetto's not. So uh, next week, that's a big week for all three of those teams uh, to make the playoffs, obviously. That was probably the best part of today, though. Uh, other than the playoff drama and stuff, it felt like they were talking about Jimmy Johnson, William Byron, 90% of the day. Just nothing really interesting happened. There was a lap or a early wreck on, like, lap five. Uh, Joey Logano, like, Stenhouse wrecked, and it wasn't Stenhouse's fault. Uh, Logano was just being really aggressive on lap five. Clipped uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Stenhouse crashed. And then it just, it was a check, check up, check up, 
Kyle Busch slammed on his brakes. Chase Elliott slammed into the back of him. Chase Elliott was done for the day. Kyle Busch had some damage to the back of his car, was never competitive again. Logano was in the top five most of the day, and Stenhouse was done. So, yeah, um, Joey Logano, it's like, dude, I understand being aggressive. I like, I like aggressive drivers, but when it is five laps into the race... When it is five laps into the race and you're racing for 15th like you're racing for the win, what the, what are you doing? That is so... It's quite frustrating. Like, look, look, man. Imagine if like that was Jimmy Johnson who got involved in that. I think that would be pretty frustrating. Okay, but anyways, that that's all I have for that. But everything else, the, the racing was decent. The playoff bubble made it interesting throughout the race. The Indy 500 was on. I watched that more than I watched the cup race, I'd say. Uh, watch the ending of that. That was a weird ending. Uh, I hope that guy who got in that crash at the end of that race is okay. I haven't heard an update. I hope he's doing okay. But anyways, oh man, finishing results. Kevin Harvick wins his seventh race of the year. Wow, seven. His career high is eight, which he did in 2018. And he's still got 11 races to beat that. I think he's going to beat that. Championship favorite for sure, I'd say. Him and Hamler are definitely one too, but I think I'd give the slight edge to Harvick. They've been racking up those playoff points. As I said, Kevin Harvick not only winning both stages today and the race, but uh, winning the regular season title. So he got 22 playoff points today, technically, even though we knew he was going to clinch that regular season title eventually. Martin Truex Jr. continues his top three streak for like, what, seven or eight consecutive races. Gets a second place finish. Really good day for that team, honestly. Um, got a third place or second place yesterday. I can't remember what. But uh, they've been racking up those top three finishes, getting some really good points days. So, uh, yeah, good for them. They've been needing those points, but they need the playoff points. They do not have a lot of those. Third place, Jimmy Johnson. We talked about it a little bit. Uh, William Byron, fourth as well. They both needed the really good points day. Honestly, other than Chase Elliott wrecking early, a really good day for Hendrick Motorsports. Um, third for Jimmy. Fourth for Byron. Fifth for Bowman. Yeah, really good days overall. So, uh, yeah, as I said... The Jimmy and Byron, dependent hitter next week, so it'll be interesting. Uh, sixth, fifth, Alex Bowman. Uh, three Hendrick cars in the top five. Really good day for uh, Rick Hendrick, other than the Elliott crash early on. Uh, Bowman coming back from that wreck yesterday and was able to have a really good day today. Uh, yeah, Joey Logano, six, was in the top five most of the day. Led some laps, ends up with a sixth-place finish. Decent run for him. He wrecked a few guys, but honestly, a good run. I don't think of Joey Logano as a really good Dover driver, so... Uh, a top six for him is a pretty good day, in my opinion, uh, as they continue to show the playoff bullets, all they got to talk about when Joey Logano or uh, Denny Hamlin or Kevin Harvick win. Uh, Eric Almirola's seventh. I think he clinched his playoff spot with points. It doesn't matter if Ricky Stenhouse or freaking David Reagan wins next week. He's in on points. Uh, Keselowski, eighth. Dylan, ninth. Wow, Austin Dylan, ninth. Cole Custer, tenth. I think Cole Custer got back-to-back -to -back top tens. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, 11th, Kyle Busch was able to rally back to an 11th after that uh, early crash. 12th, Ryan Blaney. Holy moly, he had a loose car. He was spinning. It looked like he was wrecking all day. Whew. 13th, Kurt Busch. 14th, Chris Busher. Not a bad day for Busher. 15th, Matt Kenseth. 16th, Clint Boyer. 17th, Matt DiBenedetto. As we said, those three are all points racing. And of course, um, one of them's going to miss. But let's say Stenhouse wins next week. Well, that changes everything and that means that only one of them makes it so you just got to outperform the other two i'd say no matter what you don't know what's going to happen at daytona so obviously if you can't win i think the, the mindset's got to be you got to beat the other two so johnson's got to say i got to outpoint my teammate byron and de benedetto byron saying the same thing about johnson de benedetto de benedetto saying the same thing about jimmy and byron i don't know how the tiebreaker works for that but uh yeah we'll figure that out soon i guess 15th, Matt Kenseth, 16th, Clint Boyer, 17th, Matt DiBenedetto. Just not a good day for him. Not a good day at all. This is a track I thought he'd do a little bit better at, um, but just not a great weekend for him overall. 18th, Tyler Reddick, 19th, Denny Hamlin. Had a loose wheel uh, in the middle of a run while running second. Had to pit, got pinned a lap down, ends up finishing 19th. 20th, John Hunter Nemechek, 21st, Bubba Wallace. 22nd, Eric Jones, 23rd, Corey LaJoy. He was in a couple incidents and finished 23rd. Not bad. By the way, he's not coming back to 32 next year. 24th, Ryan Newman. 25th, Michael McDowell. 26th, Ryan Priest. 27th, Christopher Bell. 28th, Daniel Suarez. 29th, Ty Dillon. 30th, Brennan Poole. 31st, BJ McLeod. 32nd, Josh Blicky. 33rd, Reed Sorensen. 34th, Quinn Howe. 33rd, Garrett Smith. Or 34th, Quinn Howe. 35th, Garrett Smith. 36th, Timmy Hill. 37th, Ricky Stenhouse. 38th, JJ Ely. 39th, Chase Elliott. 40th, 
Joey Gase. Oh, man. It's going to be interesting next week, guys. Uh, give you a quick update on playoff bubble. I'll give you the full things. Um, so clinched into the playoffs, no matter what happens, they could all crash on last, lap one. Uh, obviously, your winners are clinched. But then Eric Almirola, Kyle Busch, and Kurt Busch have clinched on points. They have a huge advantage. Um, Clint Boyer, it's very unlikely that he misses. Even if there's a new winner, he's still got a 50-point gap almost on uh, DiBenedetto. So he, he, he boasts, he's going to make it. Uh, and then DiBenedetto, Byron, Johnson, obviously, all in that very tight gap of who's going to make it. Jones could make it in, but I'm going to say Jones on back must win. Definitely mathematically, Redick on back must win. Um, but yeah, if Redick and Bell don't make it, or John Hunter and Nemechek, if they don't win, Cole Custer clinches rookie of the year. That's interesting, I guess. But yeah, Dover, it was a mad race. The playoff situation made it interesting. Harvick dominated. Um, but there, was, there wasn't like a ton of interesting passing and stuff. There was some good racing, I'd say. Uh, seven out of ten race, I'd say. Should I start ranking these races? Just start like giving them ranks like 7 out of 10 or something? Yeah, sure. We'll give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, but yeah, there's your race. Uh, Denny Hamlin won yesterday. Swept the stages, gained 7 playoff points. I didn't see most of the race, so I couldn't comment on it. But uh, yeah, the top two championship favorites sweeped over. The playoff race gets interesting. Man, Daytona is going to be a fun week next week. we got the championship cases continuing this week. And uh, any other breaking news that comes about, make sure to like Subscribe, share, 